what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back again with a new video. Um, today we're going to be reacting to Animals pairs up with Mel Gibson to express Hollywood creepy secrets and support Sound of Freedom. I'll be hearing, hearing about this movie Sound of Freedom, but <laughs> I've not checked it out one. And I've been answering rumors, so I don't know if it's true. I would love to check out this and see for myself. This is my first time checking this out. I would love to watch it with you guys and see what, how it turns out to be. Know how these guys talk less very don't yes more? Let's get into this video. Sound of Freedom will be available on Twitter next week. A new movie came out exposing human trafficking, specifically kids. Dana White posted that he Too is buying time. tickets to everyone that works for him to go see that movie. And the weirdest thing is, is mainstream media is bashing it. Let you guys know again, it is gonna get hot. Why is the media hating this movie? You know, I can't understand it. The film was made, produced, written like five years, six years ago, way before anyone heard Serious. of it. Elon Musk pairs up with Mel Gibson to expose Hollywood's creepy secrets and support Sound of Freedom. We have all heard of the film Sound of Freedom. It is said to be a film that exposes one of Hollywood's deepest secrets, which is child trafficking. However, contrary to what people would expect, few Hollywood stars promote it. In fact, most of them have been silent about the film, leading to a lot of suspicion. How is it that most of the so-called philanthropists are not saying anything about it? So far, the one person who has been very vocal about the film is Mel Gibson. And now, most recently, Elon Musk seems to have joined him in promoting the film. But what has Elon Musk done to support Sound of Freedom and expose one of Hollywood's creepy secrets? Let's find out, shall we? But before we continue, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing celebrity gossip. It is odd that a movie with a strong theme like Sound of Freedom has not made it to cinemas. Not only that, but it has not even been featured on major streaming sites such as Netflix and Hulu. The fact that it sheds some light on the human trafficking rings going on worldwide, especially in Hollywood, is enough to have streaming services fighting for their rights. But that has not happened yet. There are speculations that this is because of the Hollywood elite, who don't want to be exposed for participating in child trafficking. But in all of Hollywood, one person has been very vocal about it, Mel Gibson. Since the day Sound of Freedom was released, Mel Gibson has been advertising it for free to the whole world. He has constantly discussed human trafficking, promoting all efforts to stop it. And so far, it seems he is the only one who has fought hard enough for the movie to be shown worldwide. They say that every choice has a consequence, and this has been seen in Mel Gibson's intention to promote the movie. He has received a lot of backlash from his Hollywood peers, who do not want to be exposed. And with his campaign, one name that popped up was Oprah Winfrey. After the movie was released, Oprah has been in the spotlight for some time now, with people claiming that her South African school is the main hub for choosing the next victims. However, the Hollywood elite is doing everything they can to stop the film from going global, but it has still gone viral. As the Hollywood elite fight the film to keep their secrets hidden, Mel Gibson might have just received support from one of the most influential people in the world. Elon Musk, currently the richest man in the world, has shown his support for the film on Twitter. Angel Studios tweeted on May 18th, announcing the film's official release in theaters. The tweet also had the official trailer for the film, which received thousands of likes. And following this tweet, Elon Musk's reply was what won the hearts of many. His tweet read, I recommend putting it on this platform for free for a brief period or just asking people to subscribe to support. We would not keep any funds. The film's distributor seemed happy about this, replying to this tweet by saying, that's an interesting idea, let's chat. With this move, it seems Elon Musk is putting his recently acquired platform to good use. According to the MRC, this move by Musk works in favor of both the film and the platform. Musk's endorsement will get the film more exposure and promote Twitter's recent move to feature more streaming video and the platform's move to paid subscriptions for additional content. Aside from this, 
It could also be the next step in the billionaire entrepreneur's plan to challenge YouTube with streaming video content. The launch of former Fox News host Tucker Carlson's new show on Twitter sometime in June serves as evidence that this plan has already begun. With Musk's tweet showing support for the film, a lot of people have also come out to show their support for fighting child trafficking. One such person is country music recording artist John Rich, who responded to Elon's offer. He said, Hey, at Elon Musk, I appreciate your acknowledgement of how vitally important this film hash sound of freedom is to the world. Another Twitter user said, I would predict the movie would gross more by opening on Twitter with subscriptions than just in theaters. More importantly, it would be seen by more people worldwide. And that needs to happen. All this support came before the film was released. However, it seems that as soon as the Hollywood elite discovered that the movie would expose them, they did everything in their power to sink it. And because of this, the movie never made it to theaters, really? and companies like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon never really pursued it. Nobody knows why the major streaming companies would leave such a movie behind. The movie is based on the inspirational true story of Tim Ballard, who was a former U.S. government agent. He willingly quit his job and devoted his life to rescuing children from global sex traffickers. The main character is Jim Caviezel, who plays federal agent Tim Ballard. And from the film, he portrays the character quite well, showing how Tim Ballard has been working in the dark world of child crimes for 12 years and has started losing hope. However, he ends up rescuing a seven-year-old boy who had been kidnapped, along with his sister, by brutal traffickers. When the boy asks Tim to find his sister, Tim discovers his life's mission. From there on, he dedicates his life to rescuing children from sex slavery wherever they may be. However, as we have come to learn, Mel Gibson and Tim Ballard are not the only people who are against this. When the new Twitter owner acquired the platform, he tweeted in late November that removing child exploitation is priority hash one. And under Musk's ownership, Twitter's head of safety, Ella Irwin, has confirmed that she has been moving rapidly to combat child sexual abuse material, which was apparently prevalent on the site under previous owners. And now she claims that Twitter 2.0 will be different, just as promised. A review was later done by the New York Times, and it found that the imagery, which is commonly known as child pornography, is still persistent on the platform. This includes widely circulated material that the authorities consider the easiest to detect and eliminate. Ever since Elon Musk took over Twitter in late October, the platform has largely eliminated or lost staff who were experienced with the problem and failed to prevent the spread of abusive images. In addition, Twitter also stopped paying for some detection software that was considered key to its efforts. But even as all this was happening, people on dark web platforms still talked about how Twitter remains a platform where material can still be found easily while avoiding detection. In early December last year, an independent researcher working with Twitter interviewed Ms. Irwin and said that illegal content had been available on the platform for years. However, Ms. Irwin and others at Twitter have gone on to confirm that the efforts put in place by Mr. Musk have been paying off. In the first month after acquiring Twitter, the company had already suspended more than 300,000 accounts for violating child sexual exploitation policies. This was 57% more than usual compared to other years. This effort was increased in January when Twitter claimed it had suspended 404,000 accounts. In a series of tweets, the company claimed that they were using a more aggressive approach and that they were also cracking down on people who search for exploitative mm. material. With these increased efforts, they have reduced successful searches by 99% since December. Wow. In an interview, Ms. Irwin confirmed that the bulk suspensions involved accounts that dealt with the material or claimed to sell or distribute it, not only those who posted it. She did not deny that there is still child sexual abuse content in the open and available on the platform, but they're working on it. Mel Gibson seems to be not the only one fighting this with everything he has. And maybe with Elon Musk's support, they might expose the Hollywood elite even more. Mel Gibson is not quiet about the movie at all exposing everything there is to sex trafficking. He has even gone on to support Tim Ballard's mission, Operation Underground Railroad, to help fight child trafficking. We can be sure that we can expect anything to happen with the Hollywood elite being exposed like that. They have already prevented the movie from getting to cinemas and major streaming services, so there's no telling what's next. Will they delete the film or will they fight everyone supporting it? We can only wait to find out. In the meantime, what is your stand on Elon Musk's support for the film? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
it's not something we should play with. It's not something we should laugh about with. This is very serious. This has to do with life, children, abuse. This is really serious. God bless Mel Gibson and Tim Ballon. Like, those guys are really doing a lot because a lot of people want to put on their career because of this. God bless us too. I won't judge. I won't judge. I'm not going to judge. This it's a bit suspicious. Um, Oprah Winfrey. Um, they are all adding up now because I've always been curious why she went to Africa, especially South Africa, to go and help um children. But I'm not going to judge. But there are other children who need help in in the US, um, in UK, in Australia. But why why South Africa in particular? But it's. I wouldn't judge, but we we are just watching. But this is really serious. Like I've not heard about this before. Neither have I watched the The Sound of Freedom. I've no I've not watched the movie before. But this is very very alarming. I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm definitely going to make more research about this. Like I'm going to watch it. Like right now, after this video, I'm making right now. I'm going to watch it. I've been using Netflix for years now, but I never thought in my mind like Netflix. We they're going to support or won't stream out such a movie. I'm really disappointed. I'm really disappointed right now for Netflix. Like, what's the purpose of me having Netflix on my phone where they don't show meaningful content like the Sound of Freedom? This have to be displayed worldwide on B board. Like, people have to see this. Like, Sound of Freedom, go check this out. This shit has been sweep under the carpets like they don't want anyone to know about this because this is just my first time hearing about this i've been watching this, this like yesterday i watched netflix and i didn't see anything like sound of freedom i didn't even hear anything about it i've been seeing some rumors on on twitter also on tiktok but it's it's liked so i just screw pass i just screw pass but me checking out this video now it's like an eye opening for me like i'm seeing what's really happening in this world right now since that People, well, why children? Like, why? That's my question, right? Now. Why child abuse? Why sexual assault on children? Like, how how do they feel in their body? Like, why children? It's that's my question. Why why does no one have to pass through this? But this is very very alarming. It's very serious. It's very 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 serious. I, I'm going to check out this. I'm going to make more research about this because there's no point of me having a page when such art is happening and I'm not being open about it or talking to people to go check Sound of Freedom. I'm going to like check my community tab, like go check out Sound of Freedom. People have to see this. People have to see this. Jeez, I have a clueless sense. Like, and I don't know this has been happening for years. Like, it's not now, it started like years. It's like a business for them. Hollywood, Hollywood, like damn. Amazon Prime do not stream it. Hulu do not take it. Netflix declined it. Like why? And and the movie itself, the message it's it's simple, it's direct, and it's it's promoting a good cause. But why are they not taking it? Mel Gibson, God bless you. Timbalo, God bless you. Uh, and the mocks right now, like, I know it's part, might be business, but him choosing to follow that part is a good man. It's really a good man because we got to open our eyes to what is happening be before us. Because unless it affects you, you won't know how it feels to another person. Because other people, children are being abused. You have to put yourself in their shoes. How do Parents are being are feeling right now for their own children that have been abused. It's it's very very traumatic. It's very horrific. It's very bad. So we have to speak out. We have to voice out for the entire world to hear. It's not just about LGBTQ, LGBTQ. This is abuse. This is abuse. We have to speak about this. Sound of freedom have to be displayed on on cinemas. It have to be more spoken about. Damn. I'm feeling like I'm feeling bad for the children. I'm feeling bad like I, I didn't know, know about this movie ever since. 
Comment up below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Go stream Sound of Freedom. Go go watch it anywhere. Like anywhere you can find it. Just search. I'm sure the movie will be on on somewhere. Because I'm going to make my research right now. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share it with as many as you can. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know. Papers pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all.